This program is brought to you in part by Sal Cal Real Estate Connections. Yes, welcome to Race in Action today. And yes, it's that time of the year where our ace cameraman, Bill Majak, will make his annual pilgrimage to the Jacob Javits Center to cover the World Car Awards. And boy, let me tell you, you're in for a treat today. You will not believe what is going on in the automotive industry, and but believe me, you will see very shortly. Well, good morning. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to the opening of the 2018 New York International Auto Show and the World Car Awards. After 118 years, no other event in North America has celebrated mobility and transportation as thoroughly or as for as long as the New York Auto Show. Today, we kick off the World Car Awards, the number one awards program in the world. This incredible event gets better and better every year. And in a few minutes, we will reveal the winning vehicles in all six categories, including the overall World Car of the Year. At the New York Auto Show, we are proud to be part of this winning formula for the past 12 years as we co-host this program, highlighting the very best this industry has to offer. Let me take this opportunity to recognize and congratulate the members of the World Car Steering Committee and the 82 international automotive journalists who serve as jurors for putting together such an important program. Before we get into the World Car announcements, let me share with you some of the exciting things that are happening here at the New York Auto Show. First, just yesterday, we held the annual Automotive Forum, which we co-host with NADA and J.D. Power. The day-long conference addressed a number of important issues impacting the future of transportation and auto retailing. With over 400 attendees and top-level industry speakers, such as Cadillac Johan de Nyssen, Bill For uh, Fay of Ford, of Toyota, and Ford's Jim Farley, and others, this program has also grown to become another important event here in New York and one of the biggest and most influential in the industry. Yesterday's Automotive Forum featured a number of important panel discussions, including a session on busting the myth about the end of personal vehicle ownership in an age of autonomous vehicles. Although it is clear that with driverless cars and ride-sharing subscription-based services, the auto industry is changing. But data also shows, and many experts agree, that the passion for driving and the desire for personal vehicle ownership is very much alive, something we see very clearly here on the floor of the New York Auto Show and at auto shows everywhere. Immediately following this mon morning's World Car Awards, we'll be jumping into a full day of automaker press conferences where more than 60 World and North America vehicles will be debuted. After decades of holding press conferences over two press days here in New York, last year we took the bold step to concentrate all the major OEM debuts on day one. As you know, we have decided to do the same this year. So today, in just one day, we're going to have a full lineup with 18 press conferences featuring a wide range of very, very important new vehicles, including the world's debut of volume-leading models such as the all-new Toyota RAV4 and Nissan's Altima. Then, Cadillac will pull the curtains back to reveal an all-new smaller crossover called the X-T4, while Lincoln will debut a new hybrid crossover bringing back the aviator name. Then two concept cars from Volkswagen it will be included in the company's first ever truck for the U.S. market will be introduced later this morning. We'll also get a look at the all-new Forester during the Subaru's press conference. We then also get to see a few exciting new Porsches, an all-new Hyundai Kona, the new luxury model from Kia, plus a number of high-performance Mercedes-Benz AMG models and the production version of the Acura MDX and RDX. We'll then come off the main floor of the auto show 
and experience an all-new concept from Genesis in the North Concourse. These are just some of the incredible reveals for you to take in today. And of course, there are a few surprises in store, so please take the time to go over the press conference schedule that will be handed out as you leave the room. These product reveals and the attention that they receive from the media gave consumers enthusiastic about wanting to come to the auto show and check out all the latest cars for themselves. And when it comes down to it, that's exactly what it's all here and what it's all about and why the business is so important. We know that attendees of the auto show are mostly buyers who ultimately end up at dealerships. For such a complex event, an auto show really is backed by a very simple idea, and that idea works brilliantly. Huge crowds come through our doors each year during the attended public days of the show, and most of them are here to see and find out what their options are. They come to see all the possibilities, learn all about the technology, and make real decisions about their next purchase in an entertaining and very enjoyable atmosphere. Last year, an incredible 64% of New York show visitors said that they were in the market to buy or lease a vehicle within the next 12 months. And 40% of those intenders added or subtracted brands to their consideration list as a result of their visit to the show. Talking about needing to put your best foot forward and making an impression to a group that is in the market for your product. Attendees continue to value the auto show as a central piece of their car buying research and experience. The kind of recognition that manufacturers get from programs like today's World Car are an important part of the process to help consumers evaluate and understand the vehicles that one day may end up in their driveways. It's really nice when things come together. Amazing product introductions, a showcase of the greatest cars under one roof for consumers to see, and of course the bragging rights for the winners of this morning's World Award program. I'm looking forward to seeing it all unfold. So before this morning event, uh, events over to World Car, I turn it over to World Car, I wanted to remind you that we have a strong program on day two including a few hyper and supercar reveals, some performance-based announcements, the second annual Emerging Technology Fast Pitch, and the World Traffic Safety Symposium. With safety being such a large part of the conversation surrounding the new era of highly autonomous vehicles, the symposium has always focused on important issues concerning road safety. So after 25 years, this event continues to tackle those important issues. The symposium will take place tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning right here in this room, so I hope you can make it. There's a lot to see and a lot to do this year, both here at the Auto Show and in this great city of ours that's been home to this amazing event for 118 years. For those of you visiting us here this week, I hope you have a chance and the opportunity to take some of the time to explore everything that New York City has to offer. So on behalf of the, greater, the Board of Directors of the Greater New York Auto Deals Association, the organization that owns and produces the New York International Auto Show each year, I want to extend our deepest welcome, and I want to personally wish you a really great show. And now it's time to announce the winners, why we're all here this morning. So please welcome a good friend and chairman of the World Car Awards, Mr. Peter Lyon. Thank you, Peter. Good luck. Thank you very much, Mark. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2018 World Car Awards prize giving ceremony here at the New York International Auto Show. Before we present the winners in six categories, Prime Research would like to share some results from the Global Trends Report for 2018. Eighty-two global automotive journalists from more than 20 countries across the globe. 
writing for the most prestigious news, as well as social media, testing more than 3 million kilometers every year under the most extreme weather conditions. It's a global community of automotive experts. Prime Research is now part of the Cision Group, the world's leader of communications intelligence software and services, and delivers 360 degree monitoring, analysis, and consulting services across traditional news and social media. For more than 50 markets worldwide, through nine research centers, and more than 50 offices across the globe. By combining industry expertise, research expertise, and industry leading tools. For more than a decade, World Car and Prime Research have partnered to identify future trends within and beyond the automotive industry by combining international expert views with global media insights. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage to present the Global Trends Report 2018, the Editor-in-Chief of Roadshow by CNET, Tim Stevens. Good morning. Thank you, Peter. Thank you to the voice of God. And thank you, everybody, for joining us this morning for breakfast. Uh, we'll be giving out all these beautiful trophies in just a few minutes. But first, we'd like to share some of our biggest trends that the international jurors of the World Car Awards are tracking in 2018, compiled with the help of Prime Research and sponsored by Autoneum. Without further ado, let's look at the results. First, it's the World Car Experts' views on the future of powertrain development with a focus on electrification. Here you see the expectation is not for an overnight leap in battery electric adoption, rather a slow and gradual ramp that may take as far as 2050 before these vehicles approach the majority. Fuel cell cars are expected to continue to grow, but at a slower rate, while diesel adoption, we believe, will only decrease from here. Indeed, the world car experts' confidence in battery electrics has increased rapidly over the last five years, moving from last to first place. Plug-in hybrid technology has remained consistently strong over that period, while optimism toward fuel cell vehicles does appear to be wavering somewhat. As to which manufacturers are looking strongest in the electrification race, Tesla remains at the head of the pack, but its lead is shrinking, with many manufacturers closing ground. The biggest winner over last year is the Renault-Nissan-Mitsubishi alliance, with the recent release of the second-generation Nissan Leaf. CEOs CEO Carlos Ghosn recently said, we are probably the only car maker who's starting to make money selling electric cars, and of course, that's what it's all about. Sales volume will be a big part of that, and 2017 was a fantastic year with double-digit growth for electric vehicles across all markets. As you can see, the electric revolution is heavily driven by China. Three times more EVs were sold there than in the USA, where electrics have reached a market share of 2.4%. And indeed, the Chinese market is where we're seeing plenty of innovation from new EV startups. In 2018, confidence regarding the success of most of those companies continues to grow. According to our experts, right now is the best time, as it has never been cheaper to enter the industry. Startups have clean sheet capability, as well as a lack of corporate drag and corporate brand legacy. That's all for the Global Trends Survey. As you can see, our experts remain strong believers in the pace of electrification and innovation, and we look forward to new players entering the market within the next five to 10 years. Now I'll hand things back to Peter. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tim. Here to continue the look at future trends in the supplier industry is the Vice President of Autoneum North America, Stephen Rich. Stephen. Dear guests, welcome also from my side. New industry trends such as electromobility, autonomous driving, and car sharing are raising the requirements of future vehicles. 
There is a growing demand for components designed to make vehicles significantly lighter, quieter, and more fuel efficient while enhancing driving comfort. As the market and innovation leader in acoustic and thermal management, AutoNeum is already today developing and producing components and technologies that meet the requirements of future mobility. At our Silicon Valley-based Competence Center for New Mobility, located in Sunnyville, California, we are taking a pioneer role in product development. A team of acoustic and thermal experts from AutoNeum is working with established and new automobile manufacturers to develop innovative components and technologies for new car models and mobility concepts. In light of the broadening range of e-models, there is also a growing need for acoustic solutions to address and treat noise sources specific to this type of drive. For example, in the absence of engine noise, more attention is drawn to sound sources that are new or were previously drowned out, such as fans and pumps and electric drive components. Due to heavy batteries on board, electric vehicles require a stronger weight reduction through the use of lightweight components. There are thermal challenges as well. Since the temperature regulation of electric vehicles requires around 20% of the battery charge, thermal insulation components are needed to reduce the energy required for cooling and heating of the passenger cabin. To meet this demand, AutoNeum has just recently launched new technologies such as Tunit and D-Light for carpet systems and hybrid acoustic Eco Plus for inner, inner dashes and floor insulators. To, the exper to experience our lightweight products, have a look at our products located here inside this hall, just to, your, just to my left. Nearly all OEMs worldwide benefit from AutoNeum's innovative components for acoustic and thermal management. This is again confirmed by the fact that a majority of the World Car Awards finalists are equipped with AutoNeum's lightweight and multifunctional products. Thus, I am excited to see which cars are going to make it today as the world's best cars in their categories. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Stephen. Continuing our trend theme, it's my pleasure to introduce Shannon Quinn, President, Original Equipment Tire Sales, US and Canada, Bridgestone America, Tire Operations, who will talk about the future of tires within the industry. Good morning and thank you. On behalf of Bridgestone, I'm proud to be here with you today to celebrate the best in automotive engineering technology and performance. As the world's largest tire company, Bridgestone has significantly invested in the transformation of the automotive industry and the evolution of innovative and sustainable mobility solutions. We are driving innovation through the development of highly engineered tire technology that is focused on three key megatrends, autonomy, electrification, and shared mobility. Autonomous vehicle technology is not the wave of the future, it exists today and the need for extended mobility tires is forcing tire manufacturers to adapt. Bridgestone has long been a leader in run-flat technology, and we continue to push the envelope to introduce innovations in run-flat technology that will offer extended mobility solutions for autonomous vehicle fleets, uniquely positioning us to meet the emerging needs of the growing segment. OEMs are also rapidly advancing their efforts to offer more electric vehicles and looking to suppliers to engineer solutions that reduce overall vehicle weight and deliver fuel economy. Bridgestone's innovative Ecopia EP500 tall and narrow tire with OLogic technology is one example of how the company is working collaboratively with OEMs to design sustainable mobility solutions that complement emerging electric vehicle technology. Shared mobility is redefining how people travel. As fewer people invest in vehicle ownership, popular ride-sharing services will drive demand for the reliable tire performance. Run-flat tires off offer drivers the opportunity to deliver the peace of mind of extended mobility to their riders, and lower rolling resistance can contribute to more fuel economy, fuel-efficient ride. Bridgestone remains committed to leading the automotive industry in developing highly engineered tire solutions that support the transformation of the industry. On behalf of Bridgestone, thank you for being here today, and thank you for the opportunity to participate in this distinguished event. Thank you.
Yes, when you're having fun, time flies. As we run out of time today, but please return next week as we're going to get back into showing you who won all these awards. And this is okay. a classic example in front of you of something that was shown to the public for the very first time. Believe me, you're in for a treat. Tune in next week to Race in Action today for round two of the World Car Awards. Thank you. This program is brought to you in part by Sal Cal Real Estate Connections.